Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to show you how to flash over Dark East 10.2 Extreme Edition, a Golden Master Edition. <laughs> so um, first of all uh, what you want to do is put the uh, Golden Master Edition, I love that name, uh, into the internal SD card as you can see. Um, and secondly, uh, you want to make sure that you're on a JVQ ROM. Now if you're not on a JVQ ROM, um, I'll post it down in the description and um, in a video response. Uh, so make sure you're on a JVQ ROM, or better still be on the JVQ uh, Diodext by um, Facetto. Once you've done that, you want to also enable lag fix. So you have to have um, clockwork uh, recovery, you go into clockwork recovery and enable lag fix. Again, I'll link that in the description, although it's a 2.21 video, um, you'll need to um, have lag fix on as well. So you need lag fix, therefore you need a custom kernel, you need to um, have a JVQ, thus be on a gingerbread uh, bootloaders, and uh, once you've done all of that, then you want to have internet connection or 3D or, 3G or something, so you can download an app. And that app, I'll show you in a second, uh, after just showing you, I am currently on it, as you can see, Dark Core 2.9.1, uh, uh, Darky ROM JVQ 10.2. Um, the ROM, by the way, is very, very fast, um, and I absolutely love it, very, very fast, um, faster than 9.5 in my opinion, um, and once you're customizing everything, for example, animations and whatnot, it becomes much faster, so um, big up the uh, Darky crew, uh, the lot of them, you know, Robbie, Facetto, uh, Darky, um, yeah, all of them, even Sirico and those guys, uh, they've all put their input into it. Um, and, you know, for example, a Trib, which has his RAM hack in here, works brilliantly as well. So, big up the whole Darky crew, um, all of you guys which helped develop this ROM. So, it's absolutely great. So, um, in terms of uh, the app you want to download, is Darky ROM. Now, bear in mind, Facetto just released this yesterday. It is absolutely an amazing app. Um, it's a new app by Facetto. As you can see, there's two in the market. Darky ROM Configurator is the old one, which I wouldn't be surprised if it gets removed after Darky ROM Tool um, gets done. So as you can see, the um, it's made by Facetto. It's written Facetto there, not a digital alliance. So we're not um, go that and install that. Once you install it, you want to open it up. It's going to ask for that. Uh, just restart. Uh, that's restart the app, not the ROM. You press OK, and there you go. You're into um, the app. As you can see, you've got the options to, for example, install um, apps uh, that you uninstalled, uninstall some um, apps, um, just like in Neutrality, for example. And here is the Darky ROM configurator settings. And in general, you've got reboot your phone, reboot into recovery, reboot into download mode, flash modem, flash kernel, and flash cwm.zip. Um, thus the ROM. So first of all, um, in terms of what you can select, you can select everything. To be honest, there's nothing that you can't select over here as it's a, the new app is designed for um, later build ROMs. So what I'm going to do is wipe, you don't have to do this, and the rest um, I suggest keeping the kernel and modem as default so do not uh, skip them. Um, these are optional if you want, they will uh, apps, the fonts, the wallpapers, and the third-party apps, they're completely optional, up to you. I want swipe installed, and now install ad hoc driver. I'll explain that just in a second, but um, keep it off uh, unless you know what it is, so just keep it off at the moment. I'll explain it in just a second what um, what happened. So, once you've done that, flash cwm.zip, choose the one that's in your internal SD card, as you can see. Are you sure? Yes, allow super user, bang, and now it's rebooting, and it's going to do all its stuff. So um, that's a nice little. Uh, There's a difference by 2.9 uh, and 2.9.1. It's just this difference, that little uh, boot screen there. So right, once that's doing, uh, once that's uh, flashing, as it's flashing, um, I'll explain the the adult driver thing. Um, I enabled it, and um, I did a wipe, um, and even a no wipe version of um, 10.2 installation and um, my Wi-Fi and my 3G weren't really working properly and um, I guess that's not my good knowledge of Wi-Fi uh, ad hoc uh, drivers but um, 
just to save yourself the trouble, don't enable it um, unless you you know how to configure it and whatnot. But um, for some reason, I couldn't um, enable my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi would not connect even if I was two centimeters away from the router. So uh, bear that in mind um, when you're um, installing uh, the ROM. So as you can see, it's just flashed and it's going to reboot itself um, anytime now. As you can see, a new app makes it like just very very easy to do you'll get a uh, sound a robotic sound which is good there you go as you can see it boots up twice you get this uh, boot uh, animation twice there you go into setup so just go through setup quickly Right, so we've got the option uh, between TW Launcher and GB Launcher uh, I chose TW Launcher because it's TW uh, 4.5 as you can see it's very nice. Just a quick thing in the gallery to show you something. If you press down on the volume key, it enables motion. So it's just loading at the moment. Right, if I hit down, it will say motion enabled at the bottom. And then you could do that through your pictures. So you see, motion enabled and then motion disabled. So volume down key on that one. So um, that's just one feature that you should uh, look out for. In terms of changing uh, lock screens, uh, go to uh, EDT Tweaks uh, to do this. Although I'm pretty sure EDT Tweaks will be uh, removed um, soon. But um, the ones which um, cause problems are the 4-tab one, Star Wars, MIUI. I think they're the ones which um, cause problems. But the SGS2 um, for sure has no problems with that one. So that's how it looks like. You didn't see CRT there just because of the animation, so don't forget to enable that as well. So, there you go. I think that's about it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and I can definitely say without a shadow of a doubt that 10.2 um, uh, Golden <laughs> golden Edition, I love it, Golden Master Edition, um, is, pro is by far at the moment the best JVQ um, ROM out there um, with the least troubles and the fastest that I've ever used. So yeah, there you go guys. Please do rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Totally done that. Bye bye. So we got the option between